Hey guys, how is it going? More Wingcraft. I uh, today spe special stuff stuff going on. There's there's this event going on, and you get crates, and I I collected the crates, and I waited for the video, and here's the video, and I'm almost level 31, which gives me a new spell or something, and I all wanted to test that out. Bonfire crate tier one. There's I've opened one crate before, like a free monthly one, and click to stop the items. Well, I want the... well, I don't really care. I guess pets are the only thing that's actually useful. Hell yeah, Vibrant Weibull. Okay. Uh, diamond effect. Uh, give your character a diamond effect. Sure, I, I definitely... I know what that does. It, give, it gives me a, di a diamond effect, apparently. Maybe a gear skin would be really cool. Oh, flower wand. I don't think I can use wands, so maybe there's a spear skin. I guess that would be cool. Like that. That that looks awesome, actually. I don't think that's a spear though, but it looks cool. I guess. I want that. Beach wibble. Now it says a token, so does it mean I get it, or do I need like several tokens to spawn in the pet or something? Who knows? And I didn't get... I mean, it's a bow anyway, I can't use that. Diamond effects. Okay. D don't know what that does. Here it is, two times... I got, I got a diamond effect. What? Oh. Okay. So it's like runes, but in Windcraft. That is... I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it's useless, so... Here are the pets. I got... Of a click again to confirm. Okay. Beach. I think I can only have one pet at a time, though, right? Uh, I guess a wibble is cooler than a chicken. And luckily, I was smart enough. I did not name the chicken, so we do not have any like relationship with the chicken. We don't have to feel bad about despawning it. Look, I'm I'm smart. I think ahead. Okay, the beach one looks adorable. It has like a little ring around it, like a little lifeguard ring or whatever. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Anyway, that was the ch crate part of the video, I guess. Let me continue with the quest. This one's a level 13 quest, so it, it should be easy enough. Inkser. There's nine lines. I'll read them all. I'm good at voice acting. Looking for able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not picky. That's good, because I've neither. You see, I'm a horse merchant. Make... Making my living to sell these beauties to adventurers like you. Okay, a, a tamed horse, sure. I work at this barn, selling the horses I raise in turnaves out here to rich debtless folk. Mm-hmm. Until these rabble rousing troublemakers blew a tunnel through my barn and smuggled my horses out. I, I think I know a guy who might have done that. Usually I'd be charging a high price for these horses, not to be rude, but one you couldn't afford. I have like three liquid LE in my bank. Well, I guess three LE because L is liquid. Let's cut a deal. They stole my stable key. If you can go over to my barn and turn aves and return that key to me, it also charitably bestow upon you one of my horses. This deal is sweeter than you realize, too. Betty will be here to help. Strong as she is, don't you dare let them touch her. Now, best be on your way. Turn is a fair bit down the black road from here, off to the east. Oh, if only I had a map that... <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like 30 blocks away, guy. Stable story, sure. There, there's two beacons going on. The uh, what's what's the purple beacon mean? Is that like a specific horse or something? Guess we'll find out soon. Betty, there you are, Betty. Do I bring back one? I guess I'll go down the the little pathway. Oh. Yep, there's some cows here. Oh, is this a escort? Wait, is my pet killing the horse? No, it's fine. Oh, it's because I have poison on my weapon. Okay, I was killing the horse. Okay, I guess the cow man got a couple more. Oh, there we go. Okay, I need to read stuff right now. Don't have time for you guys. 
Okay, so it's a spell that buffs me, so right, left, right. No. Right, right, left. Okay. Right, right, left. Okay. War Scream 1, 2 minutes. I, I have resistance. It's plus 10% resistance. It probably still gets upgraded more. Like... It'll tell me... Something... I don't know. I think I think the ore has died and now it's back, so I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'll just Oh. I guess I killed the horse like really it I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure Betty will be fine. Okay, Betty, maybe if you didn't run in front of me I wouldn't poison you. Come here. I I I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like the horse just runs in front of me. You do AoE damage and the horse just dies. How am I how am I gonna do this? Well this is extremely annoying. Betty just keeps running into enemies, but at least at least she regens. I guess. That's something. Oh. Moo Albert, someone is here. I can smell it. Moo. Okay. Albert the Strong and Etis the Blind. Oh no, if only I were level 13 and the quest would actually be difficult. Okay, Betty, you have to you have to follow. We don't have all day. I need to make this video. Betty? Yeah, whatever. Moo, are you trying to run away? Human Moo. Only one of us can leave this place alive. Moo. I literally killed you. Oh, there we go. Stable key. Is it good now? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Anxer. Looking for able-bodied adventurers. Flurifly, with no friends or... Hey, it's you. Got my barn key. I literally... You already took it from me. Ah, God bless. And I presume Betty did all the work while you just lounge around. Betty only died three times. It's fine. I kid, I kid, but as the great bovine above is my wit witness, I see the... Okay, whatever, don't care. Never mind all that. A horse, I promise, and a horse you shall have. Much thanks to you. Hell yeah, brown horse. Awesome. Cool. Yo! Welcome to the VSS Seascape from Seesaw Enterprises. There's nothing better than Seesaw if you're looking to travel. I mean, the ocean looks beautiful. Just hop on the boat and buy a pass so you can get to you almost anywhere on the ocean. You can even take your paws along with for you for free if you're in a party, okay. Yeah, I need a ticket. Can I buy tickets here? Oh there we go. Uh but where to <laughs> Oh, I had to go to Rooster Island, there we go. Four emeralds, that's a steep price. Where are okay. Oh, there's a cutscene for traveling. There's a Chewbacca. There's a lot of freaking people here. Oh, we're on our way to the Zokal Roos Island. The man who lives here named that because he, uh, he's married to chickens. Uh, okay, so just a kinky bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, well. You can learn a lot about the ocean from me. Sure, I, I definitely care. In the meantime, if you ever need a ride to someplace else, you can find me at most of the ports. How convenient. It's been a pleasant journey, not really. This egg-shaped island is home to a single resident, a feather-brained villager hermit obsessed over chickens. Hi. Hello. Hey, you want a chicken? Wait, you're a human. You can help me. Maybe you are the guy who helped my brother Yaya. Uh, I remember that name. I don't remember what quest that was, but... Oh wait, he was a mushroom guy, I think. You humans all look the same to me? Okay. I really love my chickens, but there's one that I just cannot control. Is it... Cluckles? <laughs> he was given to me by a man named Bob before he went to war. Oh, the great, the great Bob? I've heard about him. But when Bob never came back, Cluckles got angry. Okay. He's really dangerous to keep on my lovely island, so I keep it in my basement. That's a good place for a chicken. I want to take care of him, but my wife says it's too dangerous. Where's my wife? Oh, I think she's around here eating some grain. He really is... I hope he doesn't fuck the chickens. That's like the only thing I care about. Anyway, I need to 
go down there and take care of him for me, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Sure. <laughs> there's there's a chicken carpet, chicken head, eggs. Nice place. I think it wants me to go down into the dark dungeon, even though it's not that dark, but I could turn the brightness down. No chickens. TNT, what is going on here? Well, hello, other person. Uh, Cluckles, oh. Um, what? Am I supposed to kill Cluckles? Cluckles is weak. I have a full set of adventurer gear. Cluckles does not stand a chance. I mean, that's being pretty annoying. Here we go. Cluckles' favorite feather. Okay, I killed Cluckles for you. That's that's the thing you wanted me to do, right? You didn't want me to bring him back or anything. Your favorite chicken. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to kill the favorite chicken. Sounds like something he'd asked me to do. Here you go. What is this? His feather? What did you do to Cluckles? I wanted you to take care of him, not kill him. Uh, you monster. Leave this place now. Give this feather to remind you of your hideous crime. Cool. 2800 XP. That's... That's... That, that sure is something. Basically, the paying emeralds for the... For the... I can get across here in like 10 seconds. So that's... It's a complete scam. So I'll just... I'll just charge my way across the ocean. I don't think there's like any sea monsters or anything. It should be fine. Okay, what's up, person that's clearly named after a different character, but with the letter at the end? Would you like to hear the tale of the pit of the dead? Another pit reference. Hell yeah. Is it? It is the pit where the corpses of the poor miners who discovered what is now named the Never Portal are buried. So the the Nether Portal. I thought it's called the Roots of Corruption, but sure. Those that had not already died had to be executed due to the insanity brought on from the corruption. That's great. I guess therapy didn't exist, it didn't exist back in the day. The spirits still haunt the grave and affect the minds of people who disturb them. It isn't pretty. You're not pretty. However, I heard rumors of those who were able to bathe in their waters and be accepted by them to show no fear of the dead is to be admired. Maybe the shrine that I keep hearing about has something to do with it. Is It's apparently hidden deep inside the pit. The pit? What? Soldier, the, the pit is located southeast of Nemrak, across the ridge behind us. I will write down the coordinates. Whoa, whoa. Uh, inside your quest book. Okay. <laughs> Enter the pit, learn its mysteries, then come back to me. Pit of the dead, okay. Luckily, I, I have a beacon. I love beacons. Imagine playing Windcraft and not having the beacon mod. I wish the real pit had beacons in it. That would be so cool. Awake, oh, uh, King of the Hill. I mean... Wait, I find the shrine. Uh, sure. Look, this is not a really big pit. Like, if you want 80 players in here, kind of need to do some more digging. Is this right up here? No, there's just some skeleton heads. Actually, where where is the shrine? I... Is it the little... Like, this is a bed, not a shrine. Hello? Okay, I'm actually the dumbest person ever. The beacon's over there. And not... This isn't the pit. The the pit is where the where I made the your mom joke. Where I was like, oh, it's your mom's hole. Uh -huh. uh, here it is. Find the shrine. Am I supposed to jump in? I mean, what could go wrong, I guess? Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, par I love I love parkour. If there's one thing about me that is known is that I love parkour. Especially in a room like this that you only see once ever in this entire... Windcraft Builders, man. I mean, I'm sure they have like software to like aut automate a lot of terrain and all that, but like... Even so, like, come on. More parkour, please? I'm fine with that. 
underground trees and lava rivers, I'm fine with that. Corrupted spirits. <laughs> they they look pretty corrupted. I mean, maybe th maybe that's like entirely intentional because they're supposed to be corrupted. I don't know. Ooh, I ba I bathe in the water, and now I'm the hostility you once felt now has faded away. Oh, and now everything's nice, and the corrupted spirits are appeased spirits, but they're still. <laughs> Can I still kill them? Hell yeah. Was that it? Is that... Go back to Nemrak? I get... suppose that was it. This entire area was built twice, just so you, that you can walk through it. Amazing. Oh my god, is this a lift? No. I thought it was gonna float up, oh well. Okay, very impressive. Here's a reward. I found it a while ago while walking around Nemrak. It probably fell off a skeleton. Skeletal legs. Wow, level 20 to 20. That is so good. Is that, that's like right around where my level is. So yeah, that was it. Uh, th just three short quests, nothing entirely exciting or anything, but I, I do believe next up is the dungeon. Dark Descent, it's a long quest. I'm pretty sure. Looking forward to that one. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.